huge birthday wish straight from the state. Governor Santa Martinez, actually, they've all reached the milestone of turning 100 years old. Joining us today is the New Mexico Aging and Long-Term Services Department Cabinet Secretary, Gino Rinaldi, to talk about what exactly that present is. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. You bet. Let's first talk about the New Mexico Aging and Long-Term Services Department. What exactly does that department do? Well, our department it, it consists of uh, the, the Adult Protective Services, where we provide uh, uh, support and uh, investigate adult abuse, neglect, okay. exploitation, and that type of services. We also have our aging network, where the traditional senior programs, the senior centers, mm -hmm. uh, transportation, meals, that type of stuff. And then we have our Consumer and Elder Rights Division, which is where we uh, do a lot of uh, uh, in information and resources. We also uh, help folks like with their Medicare and, and, and information on insurance and stuff like that. So you really do help the, the special group of New Mexicans out there that we could really learn a lot from, you know, a mm -hmm. lot of the elderly out there. So tell me about this milestone, turning 100 years old. Yes. Wow, that's yes. a big achievement. Um, what we did was, uh, it, 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 as part of the birthday of New Mexico turning mm -hmm. 100 years old, we came up with this idea uh, in partnership with the governor uh, and it was to give awards or recognize New Mexicans who had turned 100 years old. And uh, it, it really took off. And mm -hmm. it's not just folks that turned 100, but we've got people of 103 and 104. So we had some catching up to do. Right. So, and uh, here's one of the recipients of the, the certificate? Yes, uh, there's a gentleman out of uh, Belen. Okay. Uh, he was uh, uh, 100 years old, and uh, I presented him that award. And uh, he, he was uh, just touched. And what did uh, he say? He was very pleased to, to, to have it. And, and, uh, and uh, he was very happy that we were recognizing him. And mm -hmm. uh, he, he wanted me to thank the governor for, for, for the award and all of that stuff. And, and it, it, was, it was a lot of fun because you get to meet their families. You get to hear stories about them. And, and, and that's and uh, quite a bit of fun. That's exactly what I was about to say. You have a really cool job that you get to go out <laughs> and meet these individuals. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Have you heard some just really inspirational stories or some remarkable New Mexicans? Yes, yes. Every one of them uh, is just, uh, you know, they have a, a doctorate in life, that's mm -hmm. what I say. But uh, there was one particular in Taos. Uh, we, I went to uh, Taos Pueblo, and we, we, I gave three awards of folks that were over 100. And uh, one of the recipients was a uh, Bataan Death March survivor. Okay. And that was really interesting to talk with him. And, and my, I have an uncle that was a death march survivor as well right. and he knew my uncle and wow. so that was so, you know I just was a, 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 it gets you a little emotional yeah. sometimes. It is a small world yeah, isn't yeah. it? And then uh, up in uh, the Raton area there was a couple of uh, I, I, they, they said the young ladies but uh, one was 101 mm -hmm. the other was 102. 101 <laughs> years young right? Yes <laughs> and, and it was quite interesting to see the, uh, the, 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 the way they came came alive and, and as far as the conversation and, and, and we, we had a really good time and, and we had cake and ice cream and then they came and they sang happy birthday and they had the uh, a little small little mariachi band playing and, and stuff like that so it, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun yeah as you put it. what I think is remarkable is just the amount of wisdom and everything they've been mm -hmm. through the, the history they know of our state yes. is unbelievable well, when you start thinking about you know Everything they've Somebody was through. born at the same year that we became a state. Right. That was the, 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 the whole thing. And then they've experienced all that we've experienced as a state, they've experienced in their lifetime. And so you're looking for more New Mexicans yes. that are either going to yes. turn 100 or have turned, yes. correct? Because you need to keep this program going. Yes. They need to be recognized. So what are you guys doing on that effort? Well, part of it is getting the word out like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, we... we uh, push push it out into the senior programs and we tell the senior centers and the various directors and, and every opportunity we get to tell people if they know somebody that's a hundred let us know and and uh, we'll we'll do an award we we, uh, we we get the governor she signs it and and then uh, I try to take it out myself but uh, not always I can get out there but yeah. I try to so if you if you have a loved one that you know is either 100 or is going to turn 100 you can easily 
um, reach the state. Here's some information mm -hmm. on your screen at this time. There's also one 800 number. It's one 800 432 2080 Is that yes. correct? 432-2080. Yes. And you're really wanting to recognize them for not only, you know, their inspirational life, but just what they mean to our state. Yes, yes. It's very, it's very important to, yeah. to recognize people for that. The, the other thing is, is I'm looking forward to uh, when we do our 100th 100 and we're over 50 now that we've given awards to so we keep more than 50 already yes yes uh, you mentioned how many last year uh, about 20 a little over 20 some. okay yeah okay I don't think people realize that we have that many New yeah, Mexicans yes. that have surpassed or met 100 years yeah. of life well and then I, I did another one in, in the Laguna Rainbow uh, out there by uh, the, the Laguna and uh, I did three oh wow folks there yeah, and, and we want to so wish you guys a happy birthday as yeah. well from so us here at KRQE. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Cabinet Secretary. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you, you for having it's me. It's a great program, huh? great program. If you need more information on this program, of course, we'll have more on our website, krqe.com. We'll be right back. See you there.